Okay, so you know what we're what you're looking at here, as far as what this toolpath does, is it it's it's taking the finish pass and it's slowly stepping it down from zero or morphing it down from zero. So you're getting a lot of movement where the tool is covering areas where it's already covered. You can see here in the center, see how it's very saturated, the paths, they're very close together here and they're, they're further out here, you know, based on the, the angle of your um, step over, right? So what I would probably recommend that you do is just use this as your finish pass because you're you're happy with the result that you get there. You can increase uh, or make your step over smaller for your finish. But when it comes to roughing this, I would probably use something more like an advanced rough, okay? And what this would allow you to do is to do more of like a a 2D type routine. Um, uh, we'll do zigzag. You know, I, I don't know what material you're cutting as well, but uh, you know, we would leave stainless. Okay, so it's probably a, a little uh, a little tougher to work with. You know. Oh, like 1018 or something? Yeah. Okay. So, my step downs and step overs may not be, uh, you know, dialed in for what we're doing here, but uh, you can see this path is going to be more of like a, a 2D pocket where it's going to work its way in from the outside and uh, step down. And so I would use something more like this for a roughing routine. And you will get a, a stair step here, but one of the options that you have, like if we look at this from a front view, you can see that these paths that are out here are my step downs. And then you see these other paths that are here. And those are your um, intermediate slices. You could even make that as much as five. And that's basically doing a, like a semi-finish on the part. Uh, re-roughing those areas so you can see how there's a bunch of paths that are coming back in. Kind of like a combination of a Z-level rough and a Z-level finish. Make sense? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to experiment with that. I mean, I was just, all, I was just doing it all in one, one, one finish, shot. You know, oh. Roughing and finish all the time. Cool. I understand what you're saying. Uh, you know, I'm just... Uh, I, I'm recommending you consider that, um, but you're obviously going to know what's going to work best uh, for you and your shop, you know? Yeah, I don't know if runtime is a factor for you here or not, you know. It's only a single piece. Right. So you can see how using those intermediate slices, it's going back up and re-roughing it. You know, and then from there, uh, you know, uh, you can come in and use your uh, radial toolpath to finish that up. You think uh, you're going to get this part cut out today? Uh, yeah. Cool. You, you think you might be able to send me a picture of the part? Uh, sure. Yeah. That'd be great. I'd really appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely send you a picture. 